Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder pair. First of all, thank you for your enthusiastic feedback over the Telemann Fantasias video from last week. I had so much fun making it and it's so nice to hear that there are a lot of Telemann fans out there. Today's video is all about double and triple tonguing on the recorder. What is it? Why is it useful? And how do you do it? introduction. On the recorder you articulate each note with your tongue. Da -da 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 -da. Now the special thing about our instrument is that because we don't have anything in the way like a reed or an embouchure, um, the instrument reacts very strongly to any different consonant that you're going to be making. So using a t, t, -t, 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 -t is going to sound different to a d -d 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 -d, to a l -l 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 -l. This all means that the recorder can be incredibly expressive. You can pretty much literally speak through this instrument. Now we have single tonguing, we have double tonguing, and we're also going to go into triple tonguing today. Single tonguing is when you're just using one single consonant, like and we can use any kind of consonants with the front of our tongue. There's also the back of your tongue where you can do Okay, I'm going to describe double tonguing as when you're using two different syllables. Common ones are the less strong and also and the reason we use these is often for speed when you're just using one area of your tongue there's only so fast you can go but if you're alternating between the front and the back of your tongue like with you can go way faster so people playing those Vivaldi concertos they're probably doing double tonguing now there is a whole area of articulation where you're using different consonants that use the same part of your tongue, like ta-da-ta-da-ta, often used for sound colour, for articulation, for shaping a phrase much more than speed. And these are things that we see a lot in the Baroque times. Is that double tonguing? Yes, it's different consonants, but it's the same area of your mouth. To be honest, I'm not going to get worried about whether it's double tonguing or not. But today in this video, I'm concentrating on the types of tonguing that use different areas of your tongue. And then triple tonguing. I would use triple tonguing if I want to play fast in a triple meter. So there is so that is a brief summary of the general double tonguings and triple tonguings that we see a lot. I use them a lot for speed and you can select your consonants according to the sound colour and the power that you want. In general, a t, t, k, k is going to sound stronger than a d, d, g, g. I'm going to show the examples today with the most common one, which is dugga, 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 dugga. I have actually way back in the mists of time done a whole video on how to do the diddle 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 little double tonguing. Today I'm going to be using dugga 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 or dugga 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 dugga, dugga as my example. How to practice this? We are going to start without our instrument. The most important thing is that you can pronounce these syllables clearly and fluently without your instrument. Otherwise, if you can't do that, it's all going to be in a muddle before you've even started. So we're going to start with some simple double tonguing with dugga dugga dugga. And we are literally going to spend some time saying dugga dugga dugga, dugga dugga dugga, dugga 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 dugga. While you're doing this, Concentrate that your tongue is moving as cleanly and as efficiently as little as possible and if possible that the front and the back of your tongue are always hitting the same place in your mouth. So you're not going dugga 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 and of course to prevent it getting boring you can make up any rhythm you like. Dugga 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 Alternate the d and the g, start on an upbeat, you know, do everything you can with it. Try this one. Now, at some point, I had an important realization. The step from this 
just doing it in your instrument is at the moment way too wide because we are not blowing. If you're only saying dugga dugga dugga, there's not really that much air moving around and you're gonna end up with this in your recorder. So we're gonna repeat these syllable exercises but with an airstream. And to build up some stamina, we're just gonna do it really long. The next step is adding your instrument. And I've talked about this before, the technique I fondly call the in and out method, but we're gonna move the instrument in and out of your mouth whilst doing this blowing exercise. Then you can keep checking that it's working and you keep listening to see if it's working also. That was explained well. And then you can progress to actually just blowing in your instrument. At this stage, in the beginning, it is gonna sound like crap. When I first started doing this, it didn't immediately sound smooth, like, it sounded like, It felt stilted, it felt weird and kind of angular, but just keep going. It's gonna take you a while to feel how strong the tongue needs to be and how strong your air needs to be to balance out and make a nice sound. So really spend some time. I would take notes in different registers of the recorder because they will also need different strengths of your tongue and air. So in the middle, and low, and then high. I'll say this now, for each of this, these stages, don't be afraid to really spend some time, some days or even weeks. It won't all come in one hour practice session, so have patience, build it up slowly. Once you feel like you've got a nice steady digger 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 going on one note, we can start adding the fingers. I would do this slowly as well, so let's do four articulations for each note. When you're comfortable, go to two. And then once you're feeling confident, go to one. I've actually detailed a lot of praxis exercises for this, both in my videos double tonguing with diddle and how to warm up your tongue. So I'm gonna leave the links to those in the description. In a minute, I'm gonna teach you how to invent your own exercises so that you are independent and you never have to watch my videos again. Um, but I'm just gonna quickly go over that process again for triple tonguing, because to be honest, triple tonguing is the thing that I find the hardest. Number one, saying the syllable. Number two, adding blowing. Number three, in and out. Number four, with the instrument. Number five, stamina. Number six, different registers. Number seven, adding the fingers. It really seems like a lot, but build it up slowly and you are gonna be great. We have done all of these exercises. The important thing is to actually apply it to our music. So I'm gonna teach you how to turn the pieces you're practicing into practice exercises. So it all goes together. Our technique is improving for a musical purpose. In honor of last week's video, we are going to use the Telemann Fantasias as our material. We are gonna take the Allegro from Fantasia 11 because we're going to build it in very slowly. It begins with 
And this first is perfect for practicing our double tonguing. We're going to do dig a dip 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 the time making sure you're blowing and this is really good to do because it practices the transition from double to single tonguing moving on a bit in difficulty we're going to take the allegro from fantasia number one in c and we're going to double tongue the first two bars they are And don't be afraid to try it really slowly as well as fast. The key is not doing everything in one go, the whole piece, but really just taking a bar or a couple of bars at a time. And for triple tonguing, we're gonna take the Allegro from Fantasia number three, just the first bar. Now we can single tongue this. But we're going to do da -da -ga -da -da -ga -da -da. and once you're feeling confident add another group of three notice that i'm always adding a note at the end because we're always making the transition to the next part as well if you don't practice your transitions you're always going to sound like a robot so i feel like i've definitely given you enough to be going on for now uh practice material for building up your double and triple tonguing and then a small introduction into how to incorporate it into your music and in this way you can use pretty much any piece you're practicing as your practice material for this. So that was my introduction to double and triple tonguing on the recorder. Hopefully after this you're all going to be playing like the speed of light. Don't forget to check out the Team Recorder web shop where you can support the channel by getting your hands on all kinds of cool Team Recorder merchandise. There will be some new products coming soon, but for that, for now, I'm keeping quiet on that. <laughs> and if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, you can also do that with a small monthly donation and you get cool rewards. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. The Team Recorder web shop is here. You can visit it. Here is my video on double tonguing with Diddle. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. 